Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 121. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for um, the Porsche 911 GT3 trophy. We're taking a 997 GT3. Start off with Camino Via de Montserrat, Sunset Peninsula, Sedona, Le Mans, Magello, and then New York Circuit. It's sure it's stupid, it's genius. Do you know what? I find short memes the funniest. Ones where the funny just gets straight, like, spat out in front of you. That's where the funniest memes get me. Oh, you're doing it yourselves. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Come on, squeezing through. It's the, it's the sole reason why... I, I think the perfect meme that anyone can ever think about is perfectly cut screams. I think that is the pinnacle, the peak of meme. All right, appreciate it, Zeno. Appreciate it, man. I really do think perfectly cut screams are like the best memes you can get. For the sole reason that it's normally a really short video. Something bad happens. It's really funny. Someone starts to scream and then it's just the video's ended. <laughs> Which gives you the interpretation of imagination. You have to imagine what's happened afterwards. Which most of the time... It is funny. <laughs> I just think perfectly cut screens are brilliant. They're one of the best, like, you look at that and it's just, it's funny. Funny. Funny meme. Very funny. There's this um, perfectly cut screen where there's this guy in a, um, uh, what's it called? He's in, like, this medieval costume, and he's just got this shotgun. He cocks it and stands up, and then it screams. That's, that one's fucking hilarious. It's like he stands up, ah! and then it just cuts out. <laughs> it's brilliant. The boys meme, the one with radioactive bones song. Bones? I don't know, you might have to send me an example of that meme and I'll have a look at it. I said what's up, Cardo. <laughs> He's just ignored my what's up, Cardo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the panic room. Welcome to the panic room. Yeah. 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 Bum, bum, bum. Welcome to the panic room. Yeah, please do, Hans. I'm kind of interested what this uh, this meme is. New memes. Ooh, fancy. Turn the full house's power off. Why would you turn the house's power off? To fix a router. Your dad's a bit stupid. <laughs> Be honest. 
Oh no, this router isn't working. Hang on, let me just kill the entire house. See them too. Alright, that was a sequence of very terrible corners. The router shouldn't be a switch inside the power box. What the... No. The router shouldn't be a switch in the power box. Whoever set up your router was... Fucking hell, you've had some cowboy builder and a half. Fucking bodge job. That's a bodge job and a half. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's probably why your internet is shit as well. Is because of that. That's such a bodge job. That is the literal definition of a ticking time bomb. Because you never know when, but it's going to go bang. Your house is going to burn down. It's going to be a very sad afternoon. Unless it happens in the morning, in which case, fucking sad morning. <laughs> Second one, all you need to see is the first 15 seconds. Fair enough. Come for you. Yeah. Welcome to the panic room. Where all your darkest fears are going to come for you. Come for you. I don't know why, but this car feels a lot slower than the Lamborghini. Even though the Lamborghini had a fairly similar performance rating. I think it was actually lower than this. Seems a bit strange. Get back to you. Being left is hard, I yes it's true. Right, we got one more lap after this. Let's have a look at the interior, see what the interior looks like. Ah, typical Porsche. Basically the same interior that they used for the Porsche for like 10 years, 15 years, non-stop. I think they've only just started to change how the interior of a Porsche actually looks. 
do 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 thing to do yes it's true how do I get back to you All right, there we go. Race is done, and we just did it in just under 10 minutes. Nice. Ghost is saving. I got an itch in my eye. It's pissing me off. All right, here we go. I still can't believe that. That was fucking crazy. That's such a good meme. I like it. It, it is similar to, like, perfectly cut screams, though, isn't it? Um, or... Ah, oh, do you know that to be continued one? Do 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 That to be continued meme, that's pretty much the same formula that Perfectly Cut Screams has. Like those kind of memes are like the peak of memes. That you were mine. Uh. Oh shit, we're not going that way. We're going this way. Oh, that was muscle memory and a half. Fucking hell. It was originated at one scene of anime. Oh my god, it's an anime meme. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't even know it was an anime thing. I just know that it's a funny thing that basically happened on the internet and it became famous. Pretty little woman, I adore. You're the only girl my heart beats for. This is such a tune. I just got a buzz buzz on my phone. I have to get on this straight and have a look. See what it is. Facebook. Fuck off. I, I'm so tempted to uninstall Facebook and just delete Facebook. I mean, Facebook literally does nothing for me other than to piss me off. Why? It's it's annoying.
Boo. 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 Boom. 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 Oh, I fucking love Fred V. Fred V and graphics. Let's go. Second episode of Mega Series started. Woohoo! There's a lot of videos. It's a good. I, I don't even know if. Like, I genuinely do not want to sit through and calculate how long each, like, episode has been. The thing is, I, I need to redo the intro. I yeah, appreciate it, Kato. Have you done the FM2 ones, though? Mm. Gotta get the hours on that one now. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I need to redo the introduction video. Yeah, it's from around 22 to 30. Some episodes are longer, though. Um, but yeah, when it comes to finishing this series, I'm going to do like an outro video and like redo an intro video as like to finalize it. Like before I do the final game of the, the series, which will probably be Horizon 5, I don't think the new motorsport is going to be... A, good title to do because I think it, it it's all pointing towards like a live service thing and I'm it's very difficult to do a walkthrough on a live service game that's constantly being changed so if it's not live service then yeah we'll we'll do the new motorsport in this series as well <gasps> I doubt it though we'll do the new motorsport on Twitch anyways we'll Play a couple of races here and there. Mess about with it. But yeah, I need to, I need to make a slightly better intro video. Pretty much. Like, but the so here's the thing: all of the motorsport games is quite easy. Just complete all the races. Motorsport Seven is the one that's a little more complicated because all all the other ones you can do the races and like yeah, just win the races, win the championships and whatnot. With Motorsport Seven, they're all done by series points, so those are literally just. Get as much as you can. Just go through it once. So if I don't... Like, I, obviously overall by the end of the series... I will have wanted to have got first place... To get the most series points out of everyone. But it's very difficult to 100% Motorsport 7... Because of the way that it's structured. Uh, I mean, nobody's confirmed whether it's going to be live service or not. But... Based on the fact that they spent so long on it, the fact that they're renaming it and rebranding the whole motorsport series, and the fact that um, completely renaming it and everything, the fact that Forza Horizon 4 and 5 have headed towards a live service model, it all points towards the next motorsport being a live service game. Like, they, they could pull the wool off over our eyes and fucking take the cloth off and... Oh, look, it's not live service. And I'd be very happy with that. But my expectation is that it's going to be live service and I'm going to be disappointed. So, that's why I'm not saying that I'm going to do it as part of this series. Because it's not 
the same thing then. That would be like the second generation of Forza, basically. It wouldn't be part of the same game franchise. But, um, yeah, I'll get on to how I'm going to do the Horizon games in a minute because I want to finish this race and explain it in the next one because I'm, I'm not going to be able to explain all of the Horizon games and how I'm structuring them in <laughs> 30 seconds. So... Yeah, the Horizon games are going to be dramatically shorter. Like, if the motorsport games take 80, 90 videos to do, whatnot. These ones, the um, Horizon games are probably only going to take 30 to 40, except for Horizon 2, which I'll explain in a sec. Yeah, so when it comes to Horizon 1, the goal is to complete every event. Um, I'm actually potentially going to do the PR stunts as well, because the PR stunts, the way that they're structured in... Horizon 1, they're actually like proper events, so I think I'm going to do the PR stunts as well. Um, Horizon 2 isn't that long. It is not longer than this game, for sure. Like, not a chance in hell. It might be if I drive to every location, but I'll be fast travelling most of the time in Horizon 2. So... It, it definitely won't take that long. It will take a good 50, 60, 70 hours. But, like, we've done... Hori like, Motorsport 3, which has much, much, much longer races. Seeing you play in Horizon 4 or 5 and not being able to join. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is because of how, like, Horizon... I think, actually, you might be able to join Horizon 4 and 5 if the servers are still up. When we get to them. Because I think when you complete an event as um, co-op, I think it still counts. So, potentially, I could just do co-op events. Because it still counts as a completion to the event. So, I may be able to do that. Some story chapters are broken in co-op. Yeah, so story chapters might not be able to be done as co-op. Um, but I never really had the intention of doing that as co-op. I never really had the intention of doing the game at all in co-op. But now that I think about it, it is possible to do. A large majority of Horizon 4 and 5 in co-op. The only thing I would probably say is it would be better off if everyone play through at the same time so if people like make an alternate account if you join in but we'll we'll work that out closer to the time because it'll still be another year or so it'll be at, at least two years i think before we start moving on to horizon four and five but four and five will be very quick because um for horizon one i'm basically doing the pr stunts the events um and all the races so every event basically needs to be done, which is fairly straightforward. It will not take that long. Um, I'll probably have done it by episode within 30 videos. Horizon 2 is slightly different because of how it's done. They have road trips and stuff like that. So the plan is to only record the races, except for the first... Um, I think for the first two or three episodes, I'll record them as one whole chunk. So, drive into each race, stuff like that. But once I start, like, unlocking fast travel, I'll just fast travel everywhere. Um, but yeah, the plan is to do the championships... I think I'll do two championships per episode. Um, and I'll basically have the four races plus the two road trips in each video. Um, so you get to experience the road trips as well. Because the road trip is kind of the important bit. So rather than just me showing me driving around everywhere, I'll just show me driving on the road trips.
It's all right. Uh, Horizon 3 is fairly simple. Uh, complete each race once. Um, and do all the blueprints. Oh yeah, I need to do the blueprints. Uh, the bucket list in Horizon 2 as well. Horizon 3, do the bucket list. All the events. Fairly straightforward. PR stunts I don't need to worry about. Only in the first one I'll do the PR stunts. Yeah, more than likely I'll do the races on co-op for Horizon 4 and 5. Horizon 4 is all the stories, complete every race, um, which includes like the Goliath and the Colossus and those things, so the extra races, the big ones. Um, that's pretty much it, because the stories were fairly big. It won't go cheap. If you look on Enema, though, they do have copies of the PC version for, um, like, 25, 30 quid. Which is still cheaper than when it came out. But you're, you're not going to see it go down cheap. Because it doesn't exist anymore. Um, so if you're looking for Horizon 3, try and get the money as soon as possible and get it as soon as possible. Because... The longer you leave it, the more expensive it is going to get. Um, yeah. I'm surprised Horizon 4 didn't get delisted this year, to be honest. Yeah. It is going to be, like... It's still cheaper than when the game came out new. But you, you are going to be spending a bit. And then Horizon 5, I think it's just do the expeditions, do the events, and... Similar to how we do it in Horizon 4. No, Horizon 5 di 3 didn't get delisted because of Horizon 5. It got delisted because of... Um, it's a four-year cycle for all the games. So, Horizon 5... Horizon 3 was actually delisted before Horizon 5 even came out. Because Horizon 5 came out a year late. Horizon 3 got delisted in 2020. Um... The game gets delisted typically after every four years. So, Motorsport 7 got delisted after four years. Got delisted last year. Um, Horizon 3 got delisted. Horizon 2 got delisted four years after. Even Horizon 1 got delisted four years after that. So, the games typically only stay up for about four years. But, this time around, Horizon 4... I don't know whether it was because they released it on Steam. Um, and with that, they sort of extended a lot of the licenses. But Horizon 4 stayed on for an extra year. I doubt that it would stay on past October next year. I think by the time it gets to October next year, that would be five years. I think that's when they'll pull the plug. I don't think it's an issue. I think it's good that they've got the game on Steam. I think it's very good. Forza needs to be on Steam. Big time. I actually want to get Horizon 4 just so I can try it out on the Steam Deck. But I'm waiting for it to get extremely discounted so I can just get it at like... 10 quid. But I have to buy the Gold Edition so that I get all the DLC with it as well. Because um, even though I have the DLC on Xbox, that's on Xbox. I want the DLC and everything on Steam. Because that way I can actually keep my Horizon 4 save that I've got on Xbox. And they don't clash. So I can like just straight up restart. 
Um, if it comes to me playing Horizon 4 on... Uh, sorry, Horizon 3 on PC, I've got to delete my entire Horizon 3 save, which sucks. Uh, and it's the same with Horizon 5, actually, because I only own it on Steam. When it comes to me redoing that, I have to delete my Horizon 5 save. Um... But yeah, it should be fine. I still haven't got any playtime in um, the Hot Wheels DLC. I spent 40 quid getting all the DLC for that game a couple of months ago. Like, I proper, like, didn't even have the money for it. But I was like, I need to play the Hot Wheels DLC day one. So I just bought it. Completely shafted myself over for the month. Um, I haven't played it. It's been sat on my PC, installed for like six, eight months since it came out. Just haven't touched it. I played about an hour or two hours. That's it. Just don't have the motivation to play it. Like, I'll play it when it comes to making content for it. But like, actually playing it to enjoy the game, like, normally? There isn't much motivation to do that with Horizon 5 at the moment. And to be honest, I may not even be able to do... Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, I'll... There's still another DLC to come out for Horizon 5. So... I think Horizon 5 is going to take another three-year life cycle, to be perfectly honest. I don't think we're going to get Horizon 6 next year. Yeah, I suppose there's not really a reason. Yo, Wolfie, what up? So, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm planning to do with the Horizon games. It's... Fairly basic, it's just take part in every race, but we do get to experience a wide... Horizon 2 is the one I'm looking forward to, because that we actually, like, there's actual progression to it. There's actual stuff to do. So, that's going to be more exciting. But yeah. How you doing, Wolfie? Hopefully you're having a good day. Very nice. I'll take my credits and my experience points. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.